Let's review the About Face Fluid Eye Paint while I talk about why you shouldn't take reviews very seriously. So I own a cosmetics line, and while I love having positive reviews, and while I hate to see the negative ones, I do feel like you should take all the reviews that you see out there for a brand with a grain of salt. I'm not saying this because I get a lot of bad reviews or anything of the sort. I get a lot of good reviews, but I do get the occasional negative review. It doesn't mean that these people are in the wrong to leave negative reviews, and it doesn't mean that people are right by leaving positive reviews. Everyone skin works entirely differently and everyone is going to like products differently. If one singular product worked for absolutely everybody to its fullest extent, like could not get any better, then the makeup industry would not exist. We would not have all of these products because the top product would already exist, everyone would use it, no one would have any reason to take any chances on any new product. But that is not how it works. Everybody has their own personal preferences, and everyone's skin is so different, and everyone's artistry level is so different. I've been seeing tons and tons of small businesses here lately get absolutely trashed because they're getting bad reviews, and those bad reviews are the ones that go viral. They have tons and tons of positive reviews, but those bad reviews are the ones that just, they hit hard, you know? The difference is, is when someone doesn't like a large brand and they post something negative about them, um, either that content creator gets the backlash for not liking the product or we just move on. However, the difference is when a small business gets a negative product review, that doesn't happen. The small business usually gets attacked. Um, they are told that they need to address it publicly. I have never in my life seen People demand that a major brand address a review or a negative review unless it's something that like is defective. Um, I think I remember seeing this with like the lip oils that had those little um, like fibers like bleeding and falling off the wand. Um, I would say that's an example, um, but it's not unless something is like majorly wrong with the quality and like production like it's something they need to desperately fix it's not about the performance it's about like this product is defective it puts small businesses in a really bad position a lot of the times it makes it makes it turn into what feels like an attack really fast again and this is not speaking from personal experience i Again, I get negative reviews, I get positive reviews, I feel like enough people love my products um, that there's people out there that will hold up for me and explain how to properly use a product and I pen things about how to use products and how they're not miracle workers and how this is what will work with your skin type and what won't. Um, I try to be very, very transparent as a brand owner and I'm a pro makeup artist and licensed cosmetologist, so I have that background and that ability to do that. Some of these other small businesses do not have that knowledge, and I don't want to get into that part about brand ownership and the knowledge you should have to run a brand, but um, some of those brands don't know that information. Like, the creators of it, they don't know exactly how to help you, they just know this product works on so many people, it's not working on you, like... I'm so sorry, I don't know what to do. When those negative reviews go viral, then everyone thinks that product's not gonna work for me at all because they, this person doesn't like it. But at the end of the day, we all have different skin types. I don't know if you can see this. I'm sure you can see it. You see how oily I am? I am an absolute oil slick. So waterproof products do not work well on me. For example, that's a big thing with my brand. I'm known for my funeral proof liners. They are waterproof products. Um, usually waterproof products are made with oils. Um, oils repel water. And I have to explain that science on the daily. Not complaining. I get it. I'm here to educate. But I have to explain that science almost on the daily. And I've had people call my liners an absolute scam saying that they're not waterproof because they came off of their eyes. And I'm like, they are so waterproof. They are so, 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 so waterproof. So there has to be something else in the routine, what you're doing, what you're adding, how your skin is, that's just not meshing well. And that's fine. That happens. More than welcome to offer you return, all of that. It's not any skin off of my teeth. Um, 
it happens. I don't want you to be stuck with a product that you absolutely hate. So I do that a lot. Um, but a lot of people get kind of upset over it. They're like, well, I saw you on TikTok. Like, all these people love it. I had such high expectations. Like, I'm not understanding. Like, why is this not working for me? And I get it. Completely frustrating. But just know that not all products work the same on everybody. And for example here, I absolutely love this product. Um, I don't know if you can see, but in just the time that we have been talking, it is already creasing on me. And that is because I have very, very oily skin. I have very, very oily eyelids. So unless I go out of my way to prime and prep my skin for a product like this, it's not going to stay on me. It's just not. I do love this product. Um, I'm very excited that I bought it and I will be using it. But that's just another example how normally someone would try this and be like, I hate it, it's not staying for me. But you have to think of the reason why it's not working for you. And this is my reasoning here. Still an amazing product. I'm sure it would work absolutely great on so many people. On me, again, I'm an oil slick. 